That shit is funny. They're like, Why, yo, you think we're naturally this funny? These guys are solid drunks right here, <laughs> man. I think that camera crooked. But, uh, <laughs> ah, fuck, we'll, we'll rock through it. Um, <laughs> but also, okay, you, do y'all see the YouTube versus TikTok and oh, shit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, let me pull it up because I, honestly, I, I saw a couple of the fights, but like, uh, after after it happened. You know, uh, I, thought, I thought that the, it was weird. You know how you said that about the baby shower and um, the Father's Day? YouTubers versus TikTok was on the day of a UFC fight. Mm. So I don't oh, know. Oh, that's interesting. That's yeah. smart. Oh, like Izzy's, fight, right? Izzy's fight, yeah. That's smart as fuck. Why is that smart? I think that's Get stupid. The fight day. I don't think they they did good pay per view sales. I don't think they came out yet. But like, oh, okay. you're doing it on the same day as UFC. That okay. is interesting because you're 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 splitting. You are splitting people. But yeah, because yeah, I think that's damn. the only time they had to like. They probably got but at the same time YouTubers versus TikTokers. So the audience is a little different you're gonna have more kids there as yeah. opposed to like oh, yeah, maybe that, like if you have like, a huge fight party and like for the kids they just put that mess on or something well it's like how many kids are gonna be buying pay-per-view events like how many of their parents will just be like did your parents ever let you buy a pay-per-view event fuck no that's fair <laughs> you know so these I kids don't are different though it'd be uh <clears throat> they'd be stealing, <laughs> stealing credit cards for Fortnite and shit you know yeah. so, that's so, crazy i wouldn't even dream about doing that yeah, bro. beat my kids <laughs> yeah you you would definitely beat your kids ass if you yeah. stole your credit card for Fortnite something like Fortnite, they better be something important about some bitcoin or something that's I, true. I just gotta say youtubers watch tiktokers okay so which which yeah. side was the okay so youtubers so they got tanner fox phase jarvis ddg uh gib and danny duncan okay yeah. to be honest i saw wait a minute who the fuck is you saw... wait austin mcbroom yeah where is he on he's here right okay. here he's the main oh okay they just didn't put his name on the list got oh four. sorry yeah, he's sorry. the headliner probably. oh okay so fa- yeah yeah that's right they did headline okay so it was tanner fox Faze Jarvis, DDG, Gib, Danny Duncan, Deji, and Austin McBroom. Yeah, you're right. They they did uh, clean them up. Uh, what you what you think? All right, let's go with first. What did you see? The Tanner Fox? No, I Nick saw Austin? the one underneath. Okay, okay. I so, didn't see one either. I saw Jarvis versus Michael Lee. Michael Lee it? is a phenomenal dancer. And Jarvis, he's obviously a YouTube creator. I have not watched Is he FaZe Clan? Yeah, yeah, okay, he's FaZe Clan. So they, they do a lot of stuff. But... Uh, Michael Lee came out super energetic. He was. It looked like he he was he was gonna do something, and then you start realizing once Faze kind of already saw his game plan. Like it, Michael Lee kind of looked like he was doing body shots. Like that, uh. that's how he went into the fight, and it looked really good at the beginning. But then you just you just start seeing Faze just start fatigue. Just it wasn't even fatigue. He just kept doing the same shit. He would just run up to him, rush him, try to throw a couple punches, and then Faze he started like getting out the way, and then he started giving him. That was the knockout of the night. Like mm. that was the only like Got true it. knockout, because I I think usually that they, they did TKOs, but he once he got dropped, they just ended the fight. Got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's a knockout. That one was that, um, that one was fun to watch. I still like Michael Lee. He's did, a beast. Did you I see like his content? DDG versus Nate White. I heard DDG yeah. uh, watched him. Didn't get the knockout though, but watched him. And then uh, yeah, he actually uh, they, there was a little altercation after the fight, but that was at like a, a different event type thing. But uh, did you, you saw the DDG. I one? did. I did. So Nate White, he for some reason he was like really low. So and he's he's a pretty tall guy. Mm. So he he was really low to the ground and. He had the same exact game plan. Like, obviously, it doesn't look like the trainers gave him anything else besides, like, oh, just stick to this and do that. But then DDG <laughs> just came in, started, like, they both looked really, like, unorthodox, obviously. So they were just throwing, got it. So but DDG definitely had, he landed some clean ones. He landed an uppercut, and then he landed a hook right after. That was, that was mm. probably the nicest one of the night. Um, but, yeah, he, he just kept tagging him, just kept tagging him, and he kept using the jab. But... Yeah, well, it was, it was pretty entertaining. Uh, Not bad. He, DDG at the end of the fight, he was like, they asked him, would you ever do one of these again? And he was like, honestly, probably not like platform battles or YouTubers or TikTokers, but if any rapper wants it, they could get it. Mm-hmm. So he, he's, he, they're like, anybody in mind? He's like, nah, but because he's really trying to take his rap shit serious. Yeah. Uh, so that, and that's he's, the main he's done focus. Well. He's done well musically, so yeah. I could see it. And that kind of does make sense because... For him, he's done so much. It's kind of like um, like Coyle Ray. Prior to her being doing what she's doing musically, she was an influencer, which is why she has such a big fan base on mm, platforms and stuff like sense. that. A lot of people have broken out. Of, and that's why if you look at the XXL, which we didn't put on top of this, but eh, we don't talk about XXL list. But the majority of them, it's like the year of the influencers. Influencers turn, mm. turn musicians. <clears throat> DDG is, is one of them. Um, and so it kind of makes sense if I'm him. 
I don't want to just keep being categorized as YouTubers versus TikTokers. Because even this, we're reading on the list, I'm like, oh, God, so these guys are TikTokers. Yeah. And it kind of helps me solidify who these guys are because I'm not really in the know entirely on certain TikTokers. So, okay, so next one, Gib versus Taylor Holder. I saw it, bro, and it was fucking so painful to listen to the broadcast, bro. Like, yeah. they sounded stupid as fuck. Like, <laughs> okay, so to, Gib came out rapid fire. Like, he's, he's crazy energized, right? Which makes sense in terms of, like, you're looking like, bro, you're going to have an adrenaline dump. You cannot keep this cardio for that long, right? Um, but the entire time, so Taylor Holder, he has a traditional fight stance. He just kind of sitting there, right? They're like, you can clearly tell who the more trained fighter is. Look at Taylor yeah, Holder's yeah. form. <laughs> look at him. Look at his defense. Look at look I at the way 10, he's, he's staying calm. <laughs> yeah, one of the guys saying, yeah, I bet 10,000 on him and shit like that. And they're, look at the way this guy, yeah, you can clearly tell who had the actual fight training. Meanwhile, I'm looking like, bro, Gib looks so much better than he did when he first fought Jake Paul. Like, yeah. bro... And so, so basically, throughout it, they keep saying, yeah, Taylor Holder, is, you know, he's, he's being very patient, but eventually he should start opening up. <laughs> Fam, he's ha he has no output. Like, it's different, you know, when you see Floyd not doing much, he's up against the ropes, he's dodging, but he's not getting hit. Yeah. He was standing in front of him getting teed off on, mm -hmm. and, and he's really just covering up with no mm -hmm. output. Every time he tried to throw, he's not, he's not setting up any combos, he's just throwing like that, right? He's, he's throwing... That's what you don't want to do. And a lot of people do later on yeah. in fights, especially as they're getting tired. They'll just start throwing one punch. Like, they're not setting up combos with oh, anything. Yeah, yeah. The entire time, Gib is literally firing, fire. Like, he's setting up combos, going to the body, ending on the head. He's tagging him the fuck up. And, bro, like, you, all right, I probably sound like I have an ego when I talk about, like, nah, he wouldn't be able to take me boxing. Gib, I, Gib would take me boxing. Like, if I trained, I'd have a better chance. But just off the fact of cardio, and he was throwing the entire time. Yeah, like, yeah. If, if we went eight rounds, bro, I know right now, there's no way my cardio could hold up to that guy. And, like, even if I did train, I think Gib has been at this shit for years locked yeah. in because he looks so much better than his fight with Jake. But these dumbasses the whole time were like, yeah, you know, Taylor's got to get going. He's got to get... But they're... Fam, how are you not seeing this? He's getting dominated all fight. Like, he couldn't yeah. string up together any combos, and he had no output when he's defending. He's just trying not to get hit, and he's still getting hit. Taylor had the most hype going into this fight just because, like, he I guess he's been boxing for a while. And it looked like, I was like, okay, damn, his stance looks good. Yeah. It, it started off, I, I was like, okay, maybe he could take this. But then Gibb came out, and it's, it, it's two-minute, five rounds yeah. for all the fights, and Gibb's mm. cardio, like, it was egregious That's like I, ca I can't even believe that this dude was just launching the entire time it's five like five rounds two minutes like bro street fights it was really like 20 bro. seconds it was really you know? impressive and it's like you're in the boxing ring he, i thought i was kind of rooting for taylor he, not gonna lie because everybody hyped him up like that bro gib and man gib has improved so much from it bro he got rocked by jake paul and mm -hmm. it wasn't even that like he was still had that same aggression but it was like the guy that's aggressive that hasn't like you're gonna get knocked out the way you keep yeah. coming with your chin up you got yeah. your hands down you're just jumping you're, you're you're like a frantic guy like i was really i was watching that one like I wasn't giving Jake props. I'm like, nah, I for sure would have gotten this dude. Like, there's now I'm like, nah, I think he's a better boxer. Than, like, there's actually no doubt. And this brings me to my thing. I was thinking about it. You all asked me if I'd ever do a boxing match, and I'm like, yeah, sure, maybe. I would really want to do an MMA fight because I realized mm. I think I'm so much better at MMA because then I start, you know, dancing around the room, do my little shit, and I'm like, man, I miss having the little kick fakes and all these. Like, yeah, I, I would want to do much, that. That's too much, though, bro. Somebody yeah, get choked yeah. the fuck out or just, like, I don't know. Bro, no, 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 no. I wouldn't legs. fight no <laughs> actual fighters. I'd be like, if anyone, you know, the rappers want to set up fights, I'd be like, all right, we're going to be the first to do an MMA fight or one of the first ones. Yeah. That would be fucking that would be crazy. Lit. That would be such a fucking blast, bro. Yo, what do you guys think about, like, is it more entertaining to watch, like, a YouTuber fight a real fighter? Or is it more entertaining to watch YouTubers or, or like, influencers fight influencers? Influencers fight. Uh, I would say influencers fight fight influencers with the caveat of like Jake Paul. Jake yeah, Paul. Yeah, we, yeah. At this point, it's like, bro, we don't want to see you keep fight because like if you're taking it seriously, like even someone like Deji. I think the more and more we see them, their skill improving, then it's like, okay, you probably like if you're taking it seriously, then it's like, yeah, we want to see you actually fight against someone. But then there is the other part of it where it's like it's disrespectful to the sport, and that's why I was thinking it through. I'm like, people would say the same thing about me if I did an MMA fight with people. But I'd be like, no, I'm gonna just do it against straight people that don't like anyone who wants to do an yeah, MMA yeah. fight. Well, I'm no, that, but I'm not thing, trying yeah. to challenge like yeah. Randy Couture. Fuck you, put yeah, Chuck Liddell. No. You're a, like, nah, bro. I'm not trying to do that. I got too much me. respect <laughs> for those guys. Like, I'm Taking not taking niggas yeah. hats and stuff. The yeah. reason that this shit, like, also, it's because like. This is such a big risk. It's like you're training for a fight and it's not like content. You know, you could post a video. The worst thing that could happen, oh, I didn't get too many views. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back with some fire shit next week. But when it comes to boxing, I feel like it drives so much interest because 
oh my god there's gonna be a winner and there's gonna be a loser yeah and that's one of the coolest parts about it i really enjoy that aspect but i do like the influencers versus influencers because i don't like seeing fucking amateur dudes yeah. go against professional fighter get washed you know? or, or like we saw with logan and floyd where it's yeah. like and i watched this shit back and it's like okay this was kind of, this was all right but obviously it's not even close to yeah. what the fight would have actually looked like if it were if 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 floyd was hungry but okay yeah. so last one Austin McBroom and Bryce Hall. What did y'all think of this one? Oh, McBroom <laughs> fucked him up. Yeah, Mc, yeah McBroom was looking. <laughs> he was looking, uh, looking good, and it kind of made sense in terms of he just he's saying he just been locked in, and he he looks like a basket. I mean, he was a basketball player. That was his thing at yeah. Hoop Dreams and stuff. So mm. I don't know. Everything just looked good with him. His form looked good. Bryce looked more like he's and apparently he's been in a bunch of like street fights and stuff and it kind of looked like that <laughs> just because when you're when you're uh, stressed like that your natural instincts take over and Bryce pretty much every time he got stressed would just start grabbing and stuff like that um, yeah. and it was literally like in a fight when you see a guy duck under and try to grab it wasn't like clinch like boxing no. it was literally he's ducking under and the ref actually deducted a point but uh yeah. Yeah, he, he was he was getting tagged up. What that did you think about the annoying. stoppage? Yeah, yeah, it it was annoying. Uh, dude, he kept getting rocked. He kept getting rocked. I feel like he could have went up one more time, <laughs> and just because it was really entertaining to watch him get fucked up. But <laughs> and, and for, for those who don't know, the, the so the stoppage was basically um, the stoppage was he so he was getting tagged the fuck up. Then he tried to do his little grab thing. To be honest, I see why he was upset. Because at first I'm thinking, bro, you got dropped and you're sitting on one knee looking up at the ref, like he and he already got ten counted earlier, right? Um, but when you look at it back, Austin McBrooms, he was tagging his ass up, and then as he grabbed him, he kind of pulled him down, like he basically threw him off, and like the fuck off me, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, what's his name? Bryce Hall fell and then like looked up at the ref, but if to everyone else, it looked like it looked like he got hit, tried to grab him to stay up, and then fell after he moved out the way. But he did throw him down a little bit, but it's like to, you were losing the fight and. I don't know. You, you kind of put it in the ref's hands with that one. I got what he was saying, but I didn't think it was a bad stoppage because I would have thought the same thing. Like, you just got rocked. It looks like you were just trying to hold on, which he was trying to hold on. It's just that you also got thrown off and then looked up like, what the fuck? He just threw me down. Yeah, but yeah. But it's like, you, you was, it looked like you was hella rocked. Bro, Austin McBroom cheating on his wife, that that definitely had to come into play because that oh. motherfucker was I ready, didn't, he was bro. Angry. He was, he was didn't going that. good. He was going good. He cheated on his wife? Yeah, he got exposed. Dude, yeah, by oh. Jake Paul, actually. So, like, they were trying <laughs> Uh, uh, like Jake Paul posted a video of him like saying something about him cheating on his wife That's with a shit. certain girl, but he deleted it. But then, but okay. Austin's been more caught. Shit. Like Austin's been caught a few times, so it's it's not no surprise type look, thing. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's not that big of a deal. But they there's a video of um, him and Jake Paul talking about it, or they're like they're talking about talk, like getting the gloves up and shit like that. At, he's like, after I finish Bryce Hall, we, we got to set one up. We got to set one up because. McBroom and Jake Paul, they're close. I I think McBroom. No, I I don't. I think Jake's gonna Jake will wash him. Yeah, yeah. Because even watch watching McBroom. Um. Oh, let me. That let straight me. right was Jake looking nice. Like Jake, he like, didn't give no hooks. None of that. It was mainly just when, straight. When I'm looking at the way he was throwing, honestly, it 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 looked like a dude. He, I mean, he could throw, but like in terms of like technical boxing, I think yeah. it was just the fact that he's going against Bryce Hall. Like to be honest, just watching it back, I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how. Um. Like, see, Austin would be like, that. I'll be down to box him. But that wouldn't be, like, nothing crazy. Like, yeah. And I, I'm pre pretty good. Because I feel like when I was watching it, I was like, yep, that's what I do. Yep, that's what I... But, like, Jake... I think Jake would get Austin McBroom. But I'd definitely be down to see it. But I'd put all my money on Jake. Yeah. You, uh, you, you see... Every dime? Oh, all the money I have in my pocket that day. I'd all put your on crypto? Jake. What about your crypto? <laughs> Man, my crypto fam, I'm, down, I'm down a couple bands on crypto. <laughs> so I don't... I, I might uh maybe I should reinvest it at this point. Pull out, reinvest, <laughs> yeah. fuck it. Yeah. What's Get it a called? Nice little Did you going. see what Bryce Hall said at the end of the fight? He's uh, like, yeah. I'm not even a fighter. I'm not even a like I I, I never I claimed it. to be a fighter. But then they have a clip of him saying that, and then they're like, Well, I'm I'm a real fighter, oh, and I've been dang. in a lot of street fights. And I'm gonna knock Austin uh, McBroom out. They Bro, the TikToks are so <laughs> funny. Got it. Because I, I kind of liked his his uh. His reaction in the end, like, I'm not a fighter. This was a great turnout, you know, whatever. But that's funny as fuck that he said that yeah, previously. Yeah. Like, I'm a fighter. I'm a true fighter. Okay, yeah, that's that shit was hilarious. Shit'll come back to bite you, bro. But it's also like, what can like, you do? I got these two big guns here. Oh, <laughs> hilarious. I got a question for y'all. Huh. Which celebrity boxing match would you want to see? Aside from McBroom and, and Oh, Logan, Meek and Drake. 
Meek and yeah. they, they good now. Meek and academics though. Academics recently was saying he'll get in uh, get on some glass. Oh, was academics fight him, bro. Bro. Damn, so Meek unhealthy. versus academics would be lit, bro. You've seen Meek throwing punches. That would be pretty funny. Academics in the it? ring, bro, and they got their shirts off. Fucking <laughs> hilarious, bro. That is like that is that's some funny shit right there, what bro. About, I would, uh, Joe and um, Maul. Or Joe and no, Rory. Joe, Joe and Rory. Rory. I want to see Joe, Joe and Rory. Rory. That would be Joe and Rory. Hey, who, be honest, bro. Who do you think would win? On three, on three, let's all let's not say it too loud because it's gonna fuck up the audio. On three, let's all share your answer. One, two, three. Rory. 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 I was about to. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I don't know what my. Brain, <laughs> no, no, I blew that. Joe fan in the no, world. No, no, no. I blew that. He waited that half second to see what we were saying. No, no, no. no. <laughs> No, no, I literally just blew it, bro. I promise you. I was thinking Rory. I think, I think just because last I said no, no. Here, but I was like, Joe, Rory, Rory, yeah, Rory. No, 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 I like to disagree with y'all. So I would have been thrilled. We would have been able to go on. No, no, but I think Rory because Rory. You and Joe Vendor. You and Joe Vendor. But like, if Joe smokes fucking cigarettes, cigarettes every day. Every day and he's old as fuck. Yeah, not old as fuck, but like, for, he's not in the greatest shape. So even if he did train for it, I don't think he'd be committed to training like that. I think Rory would be fucking angry training, and Rory yeah. already boxes. I don't think Rory could throw. I don't think Rory's at all going to be a good boxer. But I think he takes boxing classes and shit. He said, like, yeah. I'm going to be in the ring. But he, sometimes even by someone's air punches, you know if they can fight. Because you know what they're be like, huh, huh. nah, he was sitting yeah, there, yeah. I'm going to be in the ring. And I was yeah. like, oh, God, uh, that's how he throws. So you got to <laughs> get a feel. Even when people do a little air jab or whatever. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I would I would have my money on Rory for that. That would be a, a really fun fight. But Joe wouldn't do it, man. He's Yeah, no. Nah. It's Joe. Yeah, that's yeah. Uncle Joe, man. He, that's the goal. I let my money fight for me. <laughs> yeah, man. He, he can't do that. Uh Oh, uh, you know, actually, before we go on, let me uh, let me adjust some camera shit real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who would be better fight, Meek and Drake or Meek and Academics? I'm trying to just be hell. Uh, Meek, Meek and Academics. Girl, I'm off the tracks right now. I could use your love right now, but they steady trying to tear me down. I just wanna tell you now.